Hello everybody, welcome to a Mal Reviews. You, if you don't know what this is, I think I did this before, but I, I usually review like episodes or pay-per-views or stuff like that from eFeds and all that stuff, and I give them my little point of view. Today's episode is going to be about new extreme wrestling. I have my notes down, but these notes are not the best notes. And I, and I was watching the episode, thinking about doing it now so I could remember everything. Then my little dumbass got curi got curious about a um interview with somebody, so I just decided to watch that after I watched New New Extreme Wrestling Brawl. Now I kind of forgot about all the crap I, <laughs> I did, but anyways. I'm gonna try to remember, and I'm a, but I got my notes down. These these are the best notes, but I tried, mate. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, the, the intro looks good. I love the intro. The music, could, the music, it fits it. Uh, I have no complaints about the music. The intro looks tough. I like the coloring and all that stuff. The transition is smooth as hell. I fucked with the transitioning, but the quality of the match kind of it kind of stutters a bit like it's kind of like rocky like it stutters and all that stuff but it could be easily fixed like it did fix throughout the night which i'm most happy about okay here's how this is gonna work because i can't get into match by match detail by detail of every match because i have a faulty memory i've only remember my shit <laughs> but for real for real, I'm just going to give you my review of the product itself. I'm not going to review the matches. I'm not going to tell you who wins the matches because it's spoiler free. Maybe I might tell you who wins the matches. And I might be ranting about some things. But at the end of the day, I'm reviewing a product. I'm reviewing a show. I'm not reviewing the episode. I'm, re I'm reviewing New Extreme Wrestling for what I've seen so far. The commentary knows they, they know their shit. Like, they know their moves. They don't, like, they, they probably might call this a maneuver or that shit. I, I've seen, I've, I haven't seen a few episodes of, of this product. I only see one, and I'm giving you my honest review about what I got, because the first impressions matters. So, I, so yeah, I should, I should name this Mal's First Impressions. But, oh well. I'm reviewing the episode and the product at the same time. The first match, Jay Madison, I, she got a good look. She got a good look. The um the quality of match was was alright and I hate the referees. Usually when it comes to two K feds, referees are sometimes a, they, they could be good and they could be bad. Like it's fucking annoying. Like like if you want to see a bad referee, I want you to play and do some feds with motherfucking uh, Wrestling Revolution 3D. Their refs are toxic. They are motherfucking like abominations to society I swear to you I swear to Yeezy these referees from from Rest Revolution 3D are absolutely atrocious but since the 2k fed I'm not gonna rant about WR 3D I love that game the game is fun don't get me wrong it's fun but my god the referees are toxic they are brain dead but sometimes two care referees they get in your fucking way so the and referees are stupid like I'm gonna tell you about one match I'll, 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 I'll get to that match later but my gosh these referees can be stupid anyways this match between Lobo and and the, and the Mysterio guy. I mean Lobo Mysterio, fuck. Two luchadors, okay. I, I I forgot the names already. I I can't remember the names. Next time I take notes about about the next fed, I'm 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 getting the match names, okay. But it was two luchadors in the fucking ring. They they put on a performance. I, like they did good. The match match quality was good. I liked the match. But why the fuck does it take three dragon cutters to put away a luchador down? To put away his opponent down? 
I do not get that. That is kind of a turn off, but same time it's not a turn off because it keeps the match going to get more and more and more to 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 to, to, to out the fans. So I don't blame that, but same time for a 2K fan, check the sliders and make the sliders more realistic. But I can't be the one talking because some of my matches, you hit a big move, you get kicked out of one. So I can't talk that trash. <laughs> But overall, it was a good match. I like the match. The Green Girl Dynamite needs to get the fuck out of this company or change her gimmick. <laughs> I swear, when I saw that shit and hear her theme song, like, I hate this girl so much with a passion. You ain't no superhero. And then they said that she's a heel? I'm like, bruh, she rather gets so she try to be successful than get her fans. Oh my god. I was like, bruh, she's a s anti hero and she wears a cape. She's green girl dynamite. I want to kill myself. I want to hang myself. But at the same time I can't cause she lost the match. I was happy. <laughs> Okay, okay, that joke was kind of mean, but what I'm actually trying to say is basically that, like, um, that gimmick is dead to me. But I'm probably think I'm probably judging a book by its cover. I, I have to give a benefit of a doubt. I'm probably judging a book by its cover. Because she probably has the best wrestling of uh, throughout the whole damn company. But at the end of the day, I'm just like, my God, man. So I forgot who won the battle royale. Oh yeah, the um champion won the the, the, the women's champion has won the battle royale. It was a quick one, like four got like it was like in like four minutes four got eliminated. Then it went to the final three. It was an eight man battle royale. Eight woman. <sighs> oh my god, Yanni! It was a eight woman battle royale. Or Battle Royal, whatever you want to call it. I call it mine the Battle Royale, because I don't know why. Battle Royale. But, like, it was basically eight women, and then it went from four to three. Like, four got eliminated, then was three left. I know, I know it's just, I should say four left, but one guy also got eliminated. Three left. Then another one, two left. Funk you. That's kind of funny, but cheesy. But uh, but she gave me a good look. It was a good look. And then the champion won the battle royal. That was really unexpected because I really thought that some that the champion was gonna be the first one eliminated. And then dog, then the gold opportunity and shit was gonna happen. Then I had a question, cause the commentary mentioned there was a junior women's champion and a women's champion. That confused the life out of me. I mean, hey, if you're the promoter who watching this video, can you give me some clarification if there's two women's championships or just one or three? Because you got a women's tag team, so I'm like, there's probably three women's championships and then the shitload of men's championships. I'm my head hurts just thinking about it. Next, you got my homeboy, Zulite the Great, with them fucking Tims, B. He got the damn Tims, Slim. Dead ass, though, got the fucking Tims. That was a terrible New York impression. impression. But my man's got the fucking Tims. Like, jeez, man. Like, my man has the Tims. My man was looking good in the promo package. And then he... Had a fucking promo talking about a damn debut match in Hell in a Cell match. I was like, are you going a little bit too far? Can't you just go for like an Extreme Rules match or something? But then one person came out, accepted his challenge, and then... The cell was built so fast. 
I'm like, what? Did they already pre-made the sale? Cause when Zulai came out, there was no sale. Then when the other dude came out, there was a fucking sale hanging from above. I'm like, bruh, whoever built that sale needs to get seven fucking figures of money. Seven figures, cause he did an awesome job building that cell like a snap, like the Adams family snap. I'm like, bro, that dude needs seven figures. That's a million dollars, like a million plus dollars for building that cell like a motherfucking god. But the cell match was fast, so so that was a thumbs down. To me, Zulai, he looked good, but that was a fast sell match. It could have been like a normal match. I would get a, I'll give it a thumbs up, but it was a sell match, so thumbs down. To be honest, that was the only thumbs down in the show. Everything, like everything else with the show, was probably pretty good for real. And then EOD, EOD, the the group EOD. I thought they were mercenaries, but there was, but I think they're guards, something like that. Like, you pay them, they'll be your bodyguard and shit. And then, I'm like, bruh. So, this company got mercenaries, quote-unquote mercenaries, bodyguards. And they only get payment out, out of money or in or championship opportunities. I want to hire them for my show. <laughs> I swear. Haku looks like a god. <laughs> he looks so good in his match. I'm mad he lost. He should have won the match, bro. Hannibal J, get the fuck out my goddamn TV. <laughs> That's all I gotta say by Hannibal J. <laughs> um. Then we got a then we got a fatal four match. We got the Velveteen Dream impersonation. Won the match by the Ultimate Plantation. That's what I call the little. One, that's what I call the one wing angel. The Ultimate Plantation because of Killian Dane, aka Big Damo. Damo. But yeah. So I reviewed the show, but now now I'm, now I'm going to review the product. Overall, the sh- overall the product is pretty good. I love the intro. I love the transitions. I love the storylines. That I love the storyline that's going on about who attacked. The- who attacked my father? I'm like, bruh, I thought it was gonna be a father figure. But it was mostly a who attacked my father shit. So I'm like, okay, I'm kinda interested. But the product the matches are good. They they have a little bit issues, like the quality of the match. Not that the match quality, I'm talking about the the production quality. Like it kind of glitches or some shit. But other than that, it's pretty good. Like I, I recommend y'all to check check the dude out, man. Like, like he's pretty cool. And um, I feel like, in my opinion, if I book a show for a new extreme wrestling, I would the only thing I would change is is Julius' debut. It would not be inside the Hell in a Cell. It would be inside of the Death Match. And New Extreme Wrestling did have some larger gaps. For example, it's New Extreme Wrestling. Why is there countouts? I don't get it. But other than that, they're pretty cool. Like, they good, man. Like, I cannot lie. <sighs> this was a short review, a short product review. Giving my little thoughts because I don't feel like talking for like an hour. And plus... I had to get this out the way before I start doing some recording for, before like some shows and a super show I'm trying to be in and try to get a episode uploaded on YouTube, you know, NAW episode three is uploading on YouTube, so be look out for for that, this also might be uploaded after a- NAW or before NAW because it's currently uploading on my YouTube channel. But at the same time, that once it's uploaded, it's gonna be also official at three o'clock and all the other shit. So, yeah, yeah, 
so thank you guys for watching I might do some commentary for a show I, I don't know if I, if I should do if, if I should do commentary for a show or whatever but at the end of the day I want to do what I want to do and, and what y'all suggest me to do you know cause still want y'all suggestions you know sorry I want y'all suggestions for what should I do for the podcast or for the episodes or well not for the episodes because that's my shit <laughs> but for the podcast like do like if you if you want me to do your product review like mal reviews CWF or mal reviews XVPW or mal reviews some other random e feds or backyard feds because I could do I could watch one episode. Give you my honest opinions because first impression matters. And, um, yeah. I won't be a dickhead. I'll be honest with you. And I will give you, a, you know, the green light. Because I know my, because I know sometimes things can go out of hand. Like, for example, like, you rush the show or whatever. So give me your best show. Give me, like, show me your best show. I already, I might I might review some some companies to give it my real honest opinion instead of playing a character or some shit, but hey, it's whatever. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. New Extreme Wrestling, check them out. Cool company, cool human being too. Ciao.